uh, what we are going to do guys we are going to build our shop page so in order to you know maintain our shop page what do you need to do i'm gonna show you so just hop over it so basically what we are going to build we are going to put a banner over here and uh, our product will gonna look like this and there is a filter price you can see there is a filter by price and uh, is a product category and kids category and categorized women's whatever we are having right for on a product category and here is the list of our product and whatever you want to add you can easily add over here okay so in order to get uh, get it done what do you need to do uh, i just uh, i just wanted to say you one thing like it's a bad news for you guys because uh, elementor will not allow you if you want to you know uh, like uh, i want to show you like so basically we have a sidebar over here okay in our product page you can see let's reload it so right now we have a sidebar a sidebar over here okay so basically uh, what elementor allow us to do is uh, just only a simple hold simple page and uh, you'll gonna see your product over here like all of your product over here but you will not able to filter you know add any sidebar uh, in, you know if you you know work with your uh, hello theme or any you know anything so i'm not gonna you know you can also you can add the all of these things but uh, that needs more customization so in order to do do all of these things what do you need to do uh, we need to change our themes uh, theme as well so basically uh, this will not gonna affect uh, our entire website so what do you need to do you just need to go over uh, appearance like uh, i need to search for the appearance over here and uh, here's the appearance and here's the themes so once you go over here you will search for the astro theme okay so and there's an astro theme how you can easily add just click over here add add new theme and then install that particular theme and then activate you can see your theme will be activated and it will looks it will gonna look like this uh, so uh, you can see that uh, nothing has been changed once i you know once i uploaded uh, activated that the extra theme and uh, there are some minor changes that have been happened like uh, in my uh, only you know the slider section and that's it uh, I, I will make it uh, you know i'll change it in, in future so basically uh, our website looks good and it is is still the same things we are getting right now so yeah uh, it's i mean it will never gonna affect your website so uh, the main reason is to activating this theme is to have a sidebar you know sidebar widgets because uh, elementor theme will not gonna allow you to add widgets you know, like uh, your sidebar or footer widgets something like that so uh, let's uh, let's dive into uh, you know theme builder so basically how you can you know customize your shop page so what do you need to do you just need to go over here and you can see there there's a template over here and here is the theme builder option okay once you click over here over there it will take you to the theme builder section and you can uh, click on over over this because uh, this is the old thing and uh, there's a new uh, you know there's a new interface they have put it over here so in order to make changes in your theme section you just go to uh, go over product archive section and here you can say that uh, i already you know build uh, this th this thing over here so this is showing like this okay so what do you need to do you just need to click over here and i'm gonna build this thing okay uh, i'm gonna build this uh, particular page uh, and uh, i'll show you how you can edit all of these things because i don't want uh, my website looks like as a crap so basically uh, in order to make it good uh, we need to add some functionalities like sidebar and all of those things so uh, let's delete every single uh, elements that we are having right now so i'm gonna delete uh, all of these things and uh, we will basically gonna start from scratch so just click on it and click over it uh, okay so uh, let's uh, say like uh, i i need a header okay h1 tag over here so just click on it and basically i need h heading over here okay just drop a heading and i just wanted to you know make it look like this okay uh, so basically i like this thing okay so how you can make uh, make something like this so uh, the same three procedure will go over here as well 
so we have a heading okay and then we have a divider section over here so just click over it and uh, just search for divider section okay D I V E R D E R. okay so V I D E R. so let's uh, drag it over here and here you can go see that the divider section is over here and basically what we can do we can make it like this and uh, what we have uh, okay we have uh, our uh, icon okay so i need to change the icon and i'm gonna put uh, like a shop something like that so shop uh, shop icon will gonna look like uh, look good okay so let's make it like this and uh, like i'm gonna what i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a deal of of the day okay so let's make it uh, take it to the center and also take it take this thing to the center and we have our beautiful animated uh, you know animated text over here and then we have our uh, another heading over here okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna search for any mated text okay i'm gonna put it just uh, after our icon section divider section and then i'll also gonna search for h1 okay h one which is a heading okay and just put it right over here and that's it i'm gonna say like women's 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 okay women's but i am not good at it i think okay okay let's take it to the middle and what else we need to do we just need to uh, like uh, type it like a starting with okay and let's make it like 50 dollar around and this will gonna look like this and i think uh, rotating why 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 okay so uh, no it doesn't look good and i need some effects over here so uh, let's click on it and change the word width so i'm not gonna change the width okay i need to change the color of this thing so what uh, what color so basically i need to change the styling okay i don't like this thing so go to the content and i need something different i don't need this i don't need this so basically diagonal strike x no 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 underline no definitely not no zigzag well no i need something new over here okay so uh, what is this okay that's great okay now we have our section okay that that the exact thing that i was uh, looking for like clip okay so uh, it will looks good okay okay that's great and you can see like starting with 50 dollar around okay and it will looks good okay and what else we need to do we need to change the size of this thing this particular thing and i need to change the font as well so just go over here and uh, type like prata and uh, please don't mind guys don't mind guys because i'm taking too much time and uh, you can uh, you know once when you are watching this video please uh, take it like uh, uh, you know uh, 2x or and 1.5x whatever you you, know, you are comfortable with and you can easily understand every single thing i mean you don't need to you know wait and uh, uh, because i am editing every single thing and you don't need to do that as well so starting with 50 dollar and this looks great okay that's great i think i need to add a white background over here and we are having a decent you know uh heading and i also need to change the color because i don't want it to look like a, as a crap because i want it to look 
beautiful and that's it that's that's how i want it okay women's dress so let's uh, click on it and we also gonna need to add a white background over here and what else we need oh in this section we need to change the size okay and this will gonna look like this okay and i'm damn sure that it will gonna look good okay so go to the style section and go to the this media library and pick one thing that we already added so let's search for about it and where's the image where's the image let's find it so basically we are already added our image and where is it we need to find the image that we have already added what's image we are having okay this whole image okay i think uh, the image is this where's the image okay here's the image okay you can see that this beautiful is image is over here and you can see that like uh, the position of uh, this thing is not good so i may i'll make it center central and i'm gonna make it fix and no repeat and the size is going to be cover looks good yeah absolutely it looks good and what else we need to do guys you can see our email our uh, you know our uh, uh, headings is not looking good so what do we need to do we need to add our uh, one thing that is called background overlay so just remove this and i need to add a background overlay over here so just click on it and add some background overlay and you can see it will gonna look good okay that's great and i need to change some things over here as well so yeah that's great and is our uh, icon and icon color is like the and the, we need to change the icon color as well so make it white and it looks good and we have to highlight this as well so change that color like the, oh i mean make it really bold and what uh, yeah it's good what else we need to do we need to just go over here and change some typography okay so basically you can make it full width like this or make it box and there is no gap uh, minimum height i need minimum height okay so i'm gonna put it like uh, this and this will gonna look good and what else we need we need to change the typography i think typography is good and we can also do something like this and this looks good okay so uh, we are done our designing section and uh, let's uh, add our product section as well so i'm gonna use this particular thing okay in order to add uh, you know add our uh, sidebar and our product section so just uh, drag it over here like this and uh, just click on it okay and search for the products not rd uh, it's a products okay where is the products and here we got archive products over here and you can see like we can add our archive product and short by popularity party wear blah 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 okay and here you can see that the select option but i'm not gonna add archive product here i'm gonna add like this so this is the product section over here okay and just go over here so i mean it needs to look good okay just add term and i'm gonna select a woman section over here so let's see we have woman section or not okay we have woman section so this particular page is all about women section okay and here you can see we just only got one one product and we need i need to change uh, uh, things in the product as well i'm gonna you know add all term uh, i mean make uh, add all things over here and uh, uh, one more thing that we need to change 
uh, we need to change like uh, around around four rows and four rows and three columns and that will gonna look great and what else we need to do uh, we need to add a sidebar over here so just search for sidebar and just drop it over here and choose the type sidebar i'm gonna choose woocommerce sidebar okay and here you can say our product categories all of these things are uh, basically uh, automatically added because i already add all of these things and i need to remove uh, these things as well in order to show you how you can easily add uh, everything like this okay so just update it and let's see what will happen so i'm gonna update this and uh, like uh, once you you know once you go over here and i can i i need i want to show you one thing uh, more uh, once you go over here and when when you click over uh, la templates and once you go on theme builder then this will gonna ask you like uh, where you want to add uh, this this thing okay so you need to add uh, your condition as well okay uh, like uh, you want to show it on your shop page so definitely add uh, condition on shop okay don't add uh, on, on entire website okay and we're gonna build our main section as well so basically this is for the women section but uh, uh, what what we need to change in order to add our main section so basically <laughs> we have uh, our term okay so you have to just click uh, you have to just click over here and type women men whatever your whatever your category is like we have if we add women's over here and we just only want women section over here then this will gonna reflect only women sections over here nothing else and that's how you can add every add you know change every single page okay that's how it will gonna work i'm not gonna show you in, in every single video okay you can add your kids sections as well okay so like this i want to add uh, kids section if i will search for the kids uh, then there is a product category over the uh, kids section and here you can say there is a lang lang of the kid is uh, you know pro popping up over here but uh, you can easily add your terms and i'm not gonna add everything because i don't have product uh, you know separated product but uh, yeah i can i have but uh, i okay let's add it don't make a big thing okay so let's add it and uh, we just got only one product of a human section over here okay and update it and we got our human shop page and this looks nice okay you can see yeah it looks nice and what else we need to uh, add okay what so basically what we need to do uh, we need to uh, make some changes over here and uh, this looks ugly because i don't uh, want to see like blue blue colors like we are just popping up over here so in order to change uh, we have to change uh, these things as well and we have to add our product cat categories i mean whatever you want to add in your sidebar you can easily do that so how you can do that just go over to your LE uh, dashboard and you can see in the appearance section where's the appearance where's the appearance okay here you can see that the widget section is over here so uh, what are all of these things so basically uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, in a wordpress website there are things like uh, once you if you want to add a product sidebar you can easily add and you can search for the product sidebar and you can add it to your website and whatever you add in your product sidebar this will gonna reflect on your uh, on your page uh, thing on on this particular page uh, and that's how it's work like uh, we have our woocommerce sidebar and we already added our woocommerce sidebar so you can see see that there is a product category and there is a product list over here and once i will i will hop up over here there, there's a, there's the things like like product categories products and all of these things are popping uh, are over here so what i need what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all of these things and i'll show you how it will gonna reflect okay so let's delete uh, uh, we have we have successfully deleted our woocommerce sidebar and let's uh, re uh, refresh this particular thing so what will gonna happen guys this will gonna no longer available o over here and you can see i need to go to the shop page and here is the product store and you can see we uh, we have uh, we changed our shop page in the women section we need to change that and uh, okay 
so basically women section will go into women section and kids section will go into kids and men's will go into men section so i'm gonna change it but uh, this uh, so you can say see that the sidebar is no longer available here in order to add uh, your uh, you know in order to add uh, the details of the whatever the things was over here so basically i'm, I'm gonna add so here you can say uh, active filter uh, active filter product okay so how you can add so, the, uh, so filter by rating filter by attribute and filter by uh, product by price so basically what i need to add you can uh, how you can add your products so, uh, how i mean how you can add your functionality you can uh, just click over here and drop it over here and just do it like this done and this has been added over here okay and you can also do uh, like this like uh, uh, i want to add the product category and once you click on product category here are the widgets uh, the widgets are available over here so uh, i want to add my product category in the whocommerce sidebar then click over here and add the widget and as simple as that you can say see that there, there is a product uh, i mean product category has been added uh, in, in your whocommerce sidebar so there are multiple options are available over here like you can see over uh, like hierarchy and you can see as a drop down menu and there are other things uh, that are available i will gonna show like a uh, hierarchy and i'll show you how it will gonna look like so basically it will gonna look like the same uh, things i was showing you before so this looks like this and here you can see that uh, see that the filter uh, filter by price and all of these things are popping up over here and you can also make some changes in your uh, like uh, once you click on drop down then you can easily do this as well and make it done and here you can see that the we will gonna see our product category in the product category we will gonna see our drop down and once you select uh, any category it will uh, uh, turn you know it will uh, navigate to that particular product or uh, you know product page so uh, i will click on kit section and there's uh, only one uh, product in the kit section so it is showing over here so let's uh, go back and add one more thing that uh, that we needed and i will gonna add products as well so let's add it like this okay nothing else will gonna matter and just make it down i don't want five products i just want only four products and let's save it okay and take uh, let's done it and you can see there are products and i also want to make the changes i like the show in the hierarchy not to you know drop down so basically people will easily find that what kind of products that are available in this particular website and if you have you know if you have huge amount of you know poor product category then you can choose you know drop down so uh, 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 the next thing we need to do uh, you can see the we have we have to change our you know this section i mean this doesn't looks good like this is i need to make some changes in the padding or my margin or whatever i need i think i uh, i I, t I need to take it to the middle like the things we have we need to take it to the middle so let's change it so basically guys uh, this video is uh, you know this video is too long but it is very helpful uh, in order to you know in order to make changes in your shop page so uh, keep watching guys because i'll gonna give the entire website for free and that's my main reason because uh, and uh, i'll also gonna teach you about you know because i'm a python programmer <laughs> my background is not uh, you know my i'm not a wordpress developer but i make wordpress websites as well because uh, that generates me in revenue and i also work for you know i, I already have a you know i'm a comp uh, agency owner so basically i handle lots of things like sales uh, uh, web development uh, python development all of those things and uh, soon i'll gonna show you how you can become a sales a salesman how you can be how you can come up with your online you know digital products like this and how you can sell your products online and things like that and you need to uh, you know you need to learn all of these things in order to 
in order to get uh, where you want to go like uh, if you want to re- if you really want to start your own business then you can easily do that and uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, i was talking uh, about <laughs> you know uh, other things so basically what we need to do right now uh, we need to change our typography of all of these things and uh, this doesn't looks good so <laughs> let's click on customize because uh, this uh, these particular things is uh, you know is basically dependent on the main theme so you you cannot change it by using elementor pro or anything like that so what do you need to do you just need to go to global and then click on typography and no 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 just don't click on typography just go to global and click on color containers button yeah okay typography and they are, here are the headings okay and there are the base typographies over here over there as well so in order to make changes we need to make change oh, uh, from here and that's it the, that's how it will it will gonna work so here's the uh, heading here the pixel as the font family we, we just got here and suppose if i want to change the font family like data then we can easily do this and we have the heading we have all these things over here i don't uh, need to change every single thing but i really like the heading that i'm using so if i change it then i'll be very happy <laughs> and uh, basically i don't want to leave it like that because that doesn't looks good now our heading and all of these things has been changed and there's a one more thing that need to be changed we have s6 and uh, just go back okay and there's the base typography which is also need to be changed and let's click over here and body and phone family so i'm gonna use it like i'm also gonna use it like prata we gonna look good and here you can see the changes once it will reflect on it on the website and here you can see it looks good okay that's great and let's go back and let's go back once again and here are the colors that this is the main thing that we need to change make it black and we have our link colors as well so we in order to make changes in our link color we also gonna make it make those things as black as well so you can see everything is good looks good we have a beautiful page beautiful shop page and everything is has been set up and let's public it and you can see we already set up our page so that's great man i mean yeah that's okay to you know build page like this i mean this this looks good and you you can also make some other changes as well because i am teaching you and uh, after it will gonna we will also gonna build another website as well so thanks for watching guys in the next section we will gonna set up every single thing like our shop page women's kids men section or all, all of those things and uh once uh one more thing that i need to show you so uh, just uh, please wait uh, just uh, for a single minute and uh, I'll, i i can show you uh, what i what i'm talking about right now so uh, this is the main thing that we we need to do and uh, let's go to clear click edit with elementor and you here you can see that uh, our uh, you know our beautiful shop page has been set up okay and uh, we don't need to cha- make changes every single time like if you if we build uh, this particular page for the men section we don't need to do that we don't need or uh, i mean you were thinking like uh, we don't we need to build uh, every single single things uh, from scratch no uh, and that's that's not going to happen because i'll show you the quick way uh, in order to maintain all of these things and that will be easy for you and that is called template system and uh, elementor provide us a very good plate you know very good thing in order to turn uh, every single work into a, a template so basically i'm gonna take it i'm gonna go over here and make it uh, take it i mean make it as template and i'll you know uh, 
I'll uh, download it as a template and as a JSON file and then I'll up upload it in, in the next tutorial. So basically we'll easily edit all of those things as well. Oh, so this has been loading and I'm gonna pause it and because video is too long and is over here. Okay. And uh, suppose if you build uh, your a page for uh, for every single like shop page, woman page, every single page then you are not adding any specific category then you can display on the entire shop entire you know shop pages or you can display on a particular page so here are the conditions over here so this is the shop page and uh, there's the port product categories and i don't want to you know reflect it on shop page so i'm gonna search for women okay uh, so women women w o m e n so here the women section and i just only want to show this page on this particular page and that's it that's how i want to, i want it to be and uh, one more thing that i need to change is like uh, main template of the shop page so basically this is our main template and just save it click on save and i'll i'll provide you this particular template guys and once you in the in the video section and uh, there's the main shop page template and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna export it okay and th th that's the only thing i, I was talking about so uh, in the next uh, video when we start building our uh, our product and then we'll just simply click on it and then import this particular uh, this particular you know a template and this is uh, my uh, my computer is showing that this is dangerous website <laughs> but it's not so don't worry about it so thanks for watching guys and hope you see in the next tutorial